Hi, it's Dr. Joe Markovich, the anti-aging doctor. I want to tell you how to defeat a bigger, stronger, maybe even more athletic opponent. I learned this when I was coming up, and I don't think the people were more athletic than me, but I went against everybody who was bigger than me. <laughs> Only time I went against somebody who wasn't bigger than me was in wrestling. They were the same size as me. So in every sport, you can beat somebody who's better than you. I'm talking more like ball sports. Baseball, basketball, football, soccer, rugby, lacrosse. You can beat somebody who's bigger and stronger than you. Well, I will say this. You need to be faster and quicker than them. <laughs> but you also have to take the initiative. You have to be smart. You don't attack at their strength. You attack at their weaknesses. And if you know a big, strong guy is going to come straight at you, why would you come right in his way? What you do is you get a little bit farther away from him. If you'll see a dog, a dog is smaller than a man, but it can kill a man, but it never comes straight at you. It comes at you from the side, tries to get your throat. It's the same way you play sport. You never go straight on. You must come from the side. You gotta be cagey. You gotta use your speed. You have to be quicker than this guy. You gotta be smarter than this guy. But you don't necessarily have to be bigger than this guy. And it doesn't hurt to be strong as heck. It doesn't hurt to be very wily. And it doesn't hurt to have some skills. But you can beat somebody who's almost literally twice your size. Get further back so you can see them. Because you know this, that reaction is always twice as slow as action. And what that means is if someone makes the first move, it takes you time to realize that it's coming at you and then react to it. So if you're in really close, if someone says, oh, I'm going to punch you in the head, well, why would you be this far away from them? You get yourself about six feet away. You get yourself about six feet away, and the guy goes like this to punch at you, and by the time he's got his arms straightened out, you got three feet to react. And what you do is just take the guy and you throw him onto his face. It's happened many times for me, and it's happened to me. <laughs> and the funny thing is, when you've been a fighter, you get beat, and you beat. And you don't ever lose because you always learn from that opponent. In fact, you learn more from a, a losing bout than you do from a winning bout. You lo lo learn more when you lose than when you win. And in life, it'll be the same way. Don't get down on yourself. Just get up on yourself and realize that there was always a way to get better prepared if you lose. And if you win, you say, what could I have done? What could he have done to beat me? Put yourself in his shoes. What could he have done to beat me? And use your head. But generally, get farther back and look. And if you give yourself another, if you're a football player, give yourself another three feet between you and the man before you have to react. Because that way you can see what's going on. Give yourself a little more space. Now, it's not always true, but it's generally true. And depending on the position, there are a lot of cagey things you can do. So be smarter. And I'm telling, I'm talking specifically to some people, and they're going to get it. They're going to say, yeah, if I get a little further back, it gives me a little time to think, a little time to react, a little time to move out of the guy's way. Yeah, that's the idea. And in life, it's the same thing. Get a little farther back. Don't jump right in. Just check it out. Check it out. Let the other people make the mistakes, and then you come back and counter it. You have to stay back to counter. Don't get in underneath and get your butt off to let the person drop down on top of you. You'll get wise. Let them go down and you end up on top of them. Aha! You're learning. Start to Joe, the anti-aging doctor.